Hi, everybody. Steve Scott here. And I'd like to discuss briefly the concept of Koboichi. Koboichi means attack and defense are one and the same. Kobo, attack and defense. Ichi, one, or meaning one and the same. And it's, a, it's an old um, Japanese, even a Chinese, even further back than that, but I know it's a Japanese uh, tactical approach to combat that we use in many of our martial arts. Uh, I first read about this in the uh, mid to late 70s, uh, reading uh, the works of Don Dreger, one of my favorite authors, and I use him quite often in uh, a, a lot of my reference material for my books and my videos here and everything. So anything you, anything you can get by Don Dreger is great. And um, he started writing about, he wrote about Koboichi. Again, my first exposure was to it somewhere in the mid to late 70s. And it, it just struck a chord in me. It just made a lot of sense that attack and defense are one and the same thing. And I thought about that a lot, and I know a lot of other instructors have as well. But I know also, I might add here, this is not a concept that's widely known or used, uh, even though it is one of the underlying principles of judo and, and just about all our modern forms of martial arts and martial arts sports especially. So what it is basically is uh, you're always looking for the advantage over your opponent. Okay, whether it's a competitive situation, say in judo or sambo or something like that, or in a real world fight, like in a self defense situation, it's uh, what I often call aggressive defense. In other words, you may have to do a defensive action, but as soon as you're possibly, as soon as you see the opening, as soon as you nullify that attack, immediately go on the offense. Okay, and really, it, it just makes a lot of common sense. It's used. It, in a lot of other sports, you see it in wrestling, you see it in football, you see it in all kinds of sports, and, and of course, real-world practice and self-defense or even, even combat. But uh, I, I think the concept of Kobuichi in, in, in that phrase really gives it a, a good descriptive um, uh, narrative as to, as to what it does. And that, that helps me as a coach teach it better to my athletes. So when I'm, I'm, working, when I'm working with my guys on... Uh, a hip block, a cut, a hip cut, you know, in defense against a throw, okay? We stop that. We nullify the opponent's initial attack. We immediately go on the offense, okay? Now, sometimes uh, he may throw a weak attack at us, and we block it rather aggressively, and that sets up a real aggressive response on our part. So it's not always an equal response, you know, you know to your opponent's attack. You may attack even stronger, or you know you may you may see well you may back away a little bit and attack it a little stronger at a different time. So the whole concept, the whole idea, is a tactical one of the ebb and flow of a real fight, and always looking for the advantage and always looking to improve your position to improve your situation. So depending, Kobuichi works. It's an offense. It's a defense. They're one and the same. Depending on the situation. Depending on the time is a time right in that particular instance and that's what koboichi is it's it's a uh, it's rather simple in nature but you can apply it tactically in so many different ways so anyway i call it an aggressive defense i've written about that in some of my books and some of our videos we've done uh but it's just it makes a lot of sense and it's not one of those things that you read a lot or have, or have heard a lot about that's in in the mainstream of of in judo or or jujitsu or anything else Again, I, I don't know if too many people have written a whole lot about it with the exception of Don Dreger, uh, but it makes a lot of sense. So anyway, that is the concept of Kobuichi, and I hope you can use this in some way tactically uh, to enhance your training and your coaching and, and uh, you know, your own skills. So that's it on Kobuichi. Thanks for watching.